it is utterly depressing how in first world countries, especially America, I know they're American, they are not only ignorant of the law, they actively want to annihilate, they want to diminish the very meaning of their laws and their rights, and they just want to have this sort of religious... Uh, I, I can't even call it nihilism because it's it's not that they just don't care. It's it's this amoral this immorality. They just they actively want to destroy any value to anything and piss all over themselves. And we all have to suffer for it, and we all have to pay for it. And that's not okay. That's no, you do not tolerate that. Uh, in this particular example. Uh, I know I know Reddit is just a fucking cesspool of people that need to die. Just, just straight up. But our Yu-Gi-Oh! of all places talks about how there's being theft in the, in the Yu-Gi-Oh! stores because, you know, they're, they're taking the cards, the bullies. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, no, you no know shit. You pay good money for your cards. You shouldn't get them stolen. Duh. But someone makes the, the brilliant idea to put on an intercom that anyone caught stealing is banned from the store. No, no, you can't legally do that. That's all I said was no. You could threaten to call the police if you discover theft is going on. Not that I think the police would take very seriously a children's card game, but you could. Um, but... You can't go around banning people. You're not even supposed to be doing that on Reddit, let alone IRL, where there are consequences to the legal ramifications of banning someone as a non-legal entity. And you would have to ban them as a non-legal entity. If you ban them, guess what? If it was me, I'd fucking burn the place down. And then you would get charged with insurance fraud because, well, he was a non-person, so balls on you. Why'd you burn your place down? Sounds like you just wanted to collect the settlement. That's what would happen. That's exactly what would happen. Uh, you know, that, that's why I even gave an, a good example to, you know, solidify why you can't do that. That's why in gaming tournaments and things, you have an alias. You're not even really supposed to use your real name. You have an alias, even at the big leagues, at the fucking, you know, Overwatch, I'm already Tracer, shit like that. Even at the fucking big league tournaments, they use aliases. Why is that? Because you're not a legal person. That's the only reason they get to wank off about banning this and banning that. It's because you're not a legal person. No one has the fucking two testicles it needs to fucking burn the place down when they're banned. That's what, that's what it really comes down to. That's all I said. An explanation, a defense, and why, you know, you can't do that, and what you could do instead, an alternative. So, in every possible way, constructive criticism to help this guy with his issue, sort of, and to explain why the other guy was wrong, because I, I do not put up with moderated bullshit. What does he do? Fucking comes out me with, uh, you know, what, what's wrong with you? You know, you know is, I don't even remember what he said. It was some passive-aggressive bullshit that I don't need to hear. I don't need to hear it. I know I'm right. You're wrong. Just accept it. Just accept it. Don't, don't fucking, don't fucking argue with me. Don't fucking, you know, you, you do spin all these plates to try to make sense out of why you should e be allowed to illegally ban people when you know it's wrong, when you know it's illegal. Um, you know, and I and I know fucking well. I, as I make this video, I haven't checked my Reddit, but I know fucking well that because I got defensive, I know that they will probably ban me, and I will have to dox them. I don't even like using that word because it's it's that stupid internet lingo that moderators created. What I have to do is fucking find their information, track them down, put their information out there publicly, like their credit card information and where they live and everything about them, and fucking ruin their life or make them at least think their life is ruined until they fucking learn. Until they fucking learn the law.
that's it. You know, and it shouldn't have to come to that. It shouldn't have to come to that because all you have to fucking do is not ban people. That's all you gotta fucking do. If you can't manage that, if you are such a psychopath that you have to ban people because you have to make be superior to them, then accept the fact that they're not a fucking legal person. And if they're like me, and they're just, you know, inches away from fucking snapping on someone. Then, then take it like a man. Fucking spread those ass cheeks and take it like a bitch. Because that's what's going to happen to you. Because I'm not the only one. There are other people out there that just don't have the patience. They don't have the fucking threshold to deal with. With this bullshit time and time again. How we talk about rights and we talk about fairness and equality. When you can't even fucking post online without some pedophile creepy motherfucker up your dick hole about the dumbest shit. It's gotta be one or the other. <laughs>